Right, this is getting flattened. We don't like nature. So this needs to get flattened. We're going to need to set up an automation to get more of these floors. What are these guys even getting me? You get me a little bit of stone? You legends. I appreciate that. We're going to have to change these floors eventually, but we need the next stage. So these are our placeholder floors. Right now, we're just flattening it, and then we're going to go from there. I am out of the floors already. Oh my. Okay. We've barely done any, but that's fine. That's what automations are for. And these guys have got me plenty of stone because they they are the boys appreciate you all right look now we gotta cover this part this is the next part and we gotta kill these trees we don't like nature around here Oh, oh my god, I've gone through hundreds of floors already. What's your vision here, Kaz? My plan is I want a big base. I still want my Kaz factory, but the Kaz factory would look a little bit out of place in this world. So my plan is to try and modernize pretty much everything so that this would essentially be like a big village. Like this would be a big city almost. And then we would connect it all via roads. We would get the vehicles out, you know, and we would essentially go for a little bit more of a modern look this time. Right, we're going to use these walls right now just to help us with our lining up here. Although I can't see a thing. Oh yeah, this is what I'm thinking, right? I know, it looks weird right now, but this will eventually be like a staircase or something. It will look cool. We have to like make it a bit like a paint by numbers, all right? I'm not creative like that. If it doesn't automate, then my brain can't handle it. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. So now... Stop, get out my face. Uh... Yes. Perfect. Oh my days. That was clean. I'm gonna use these for an example. Halfway. This is where I want a road. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Where we left off last time is we pretty much uh, flattened this starting area. The only thing I've done since then is change the floors to canvas floors because that's going to be our road. The outline is roughly done. It's even now. It's going to be cool. But what I'm thinking is this is just going to be this part of the village. And then we're going to have the main part, uh, the actual city part down there on the water. That is going to be one hell of a build. We're not even really worrying about that right now. Uh, what we are going to focus on is just bringing the automations up and making sense of it all down there is going to be our kind of factory where we're going to run all the automations and i want those resources brought up into our base here which we're going to go into shortly now we do need to set up or at least have automations running to help us get some of the builds from the furniture workbench so everything's not so gray we actually start changing out the floors and the walls for the for the better looking stuff okay so let me give you guys a quick tour of my uh shell of a base this part down here is gonna be all kind of shops and we've got some merchants down there already but that's all going to be decorated out to look cool there is lines in the road but for some reason as you can see the render distance sucks on them this part up here is pretty much just going to be decorated out kind of more casually but then down here is where the magic will happen because this is going to be my main area uh, so I've got my storage room in here. I do have a pet cow right now. I have two right now, but they will not be living here. And this is where we're going to be setting up the automations with the pipes to be bringing up the resources for us. And then we've even got a little garage where we can just go back out onto the roads. For the most part, that's kind of it. There's actually three floors to this building to help us put in the pipes without them even being seen. So it could get pretty wild. We might not have a house when the game blows up. And then the roads just end there. They don't go far. They just end on the ends here. And they're going to be led to all the other villages, which are also going to be built out. And then we can all just drive around and have fun with it. But today is pipes. I need automations. I want to drain some bedrocks. We got a lot of work to get on with. What did you do to get the white lines? Uh, so the white lines are just canvas walls. So you would just put in like a road put down the canvas pieces paint them all black or dark gray whatever and then bring in a canvas wall and just don't paint it let's just grab i mean it's mainly going to be relays give me them maybe like here we don't need the conveyor we need to block the conveyor side off so we're going to have that loot brought from down there to up here so that everything gets brought to this chest 
I grab what I need out and I will put it away in the correct chest. So this random little automation I've got here essentially is my iron here, silver in the middle, and then gold on this side, all fed into the container. And then also the weapons uh, scrapped with the refining stones shot up as well. This is a pretty nice collection right now, but this whole area is going to be full of automations and I want the pipe system to go all the way up. Okay, I think what we do is we capture these guys off. Boom. There's one. <laughs> Come on. No. Just there. Oh my god, look how nice these run. That is clean. Put this one like back here. beautiful go on oh yes the plumbing is being fitted okay so i want to drain all the bedrocks because we don't need iron we don't need silver we kind of need the others or the copper ones at least so for now these bedrocks i need to start getting them cleared so you have a bunch of health so we may as well just steal the resources from them and be on our way Nearly. Right, so we're going to leave that just farming up some iron for us. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the grey walls for where the medieval stone is going to go. We need to get them from the next update, but everything else needs to be swapped out, except the, the stone floors as well, because they're going to be turned into the stone medieval floors. So we we'll change them to them, the walls to the medieval stone. So we need next age, but we need to make some grass to start giving this place a little bit more color. Okay. Yeah, see that green looks so much better there. Once I put that pathway in, that's going to look so clean. But we're going to have to just use the stone pathway until we can swap them out for the medieval. Boom. Okay, now for the fun part. Let's get four on the back. Oh no. Oh wait, 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 wait. Give me that. Stop, 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 stop. You are gonna make a mess. I woke up on the edge. Oh, yes.
these pipes are getting easier and easier to build with. Wish we could make them like perfectly straight. Oh, look at that. Please come through. Please. Yes. Right there. Right there. Boom. Okay, sure. Okay, there's one. That might be doable. Straight up there. Oh, 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 oh. there's one. There's two. Boom. Yes. Oh, oh, my days were done. Check this out. So we got the pipes running under the base. So then we come all the way up here. And then we come all the way down. Down over this way. Down to here. Look how cool it looks. With all the little lights on it. That is mental though. Look how far that goes. That was a lot of work for some stone and copper, I must admit. Which is fine, but goddamn.